La gente se pregunta cómo de este chamaquito sabes cómo somos, nunca pido te. One of the challenging aspects of a steel cage match is you have to play offense and defense at the same time. Victory can be achieved by pinfall, submission, or escape. And the unforgiving cage can tear you to shreds in the process. That's why I say do unto others before they do unto you. Especially in a cage match. Heading up and maybe heading out. Great wherewithal on the counter. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Try to escape the cage. Rough landing. He moves just in time. A well-timed dodge. Spy Buster. And that one scouted. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, solid kick across the back. Got him where he wants him. Up and back in. Body. Bad predicament right here. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. Elbow drop right on point. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. Fortitude being tested with every step. Trying desperately to escape. Byron, what is important to remember in a steel cage match? But simply, you are surrounded by a weapon. The cage can be your ally or your enemy. This is a situation where defense is just as important as offense. This is solid, it's steel, it's cold, it's unforgiving. It can mangle flesh in seconds. It is frightening to witness what competitors are capable of in this environment. Working the midsection there. Being carried around with ease. Fighting out. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal four. Priest able to avert that. Corbin able to reverse. And you're right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. Targeting the chest. Very effective. The stop and every single part of his body. He knows how to avoid contact. Nice close line. Right to the kidneys from behind. That'll turn your lights out. Gets him with the counter. Oh, this isn't pretty. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. In search of some footing to make this huge climb. And look here, he's making his way up the cage. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in a steel cage match. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. Corbin gets stymied. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. Heck of a view from up there, but he'll enjoy a view from the floor even more. At the top of the cage, but his opponent stops his progress. He almost made it out. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. All he has to do is drop down to the floor, and his hand will be raised. He's working toward making his escape. He can almost taste the win in this cage match. He just has to swing that leg over. He doesn't want to spend too much time up there. And he caught up. Saw this match slipping away, and he said, not yet. And a tussle on the side of the cage now between these two competitors. Try something else now. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? He's able to adapt. That could be the spark Damien was looking for. Damien Priest has got him set up for the broken arrow. He's making haste, climbing up the cage wall. 
getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. Oh, no. Crash landing. Oh, no. He comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Power bomb dropped him. Intentions in mind. No way. Astounding power. And it goes. Did that finish Priest off? Asking the ref to open the cage door now. Yeah. Dropping with a big shoulder tackle. Corbin is just having his way. It's time to pay your penance to Baron Corbin. Falcon Arrow! We're undoubtedly nearing the end. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. And Corbin's plans fail there. He's finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, he's able to stop that search. That's tracks. is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, now Priest has to fight against the momentum against him. Double axe handle. I don't think Priest knows what's coming. simply be walking out of this cage. Hold it.